Hello guys, here we are at the Russia Festival Piva with the one and only Milo Brode. Hello, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> finally, finally. finally. Uh, um, yeah, so for the people who don't know you yet, you're in uh, Poland, a quite famous uh, beer vlogger, if I can call that. I hope uh, so. <laughs> how did it start? It? How did it start? Well, well this, the story is uh, really nice because. Uh, First of all, I started with a beer shop. Yeah. I thought uh, with my uh, girlfriend Martha that we, I want to have a shop with craft beers. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, let's do it. We're going to like maintain it, Martha, because I'm, I, I, I do uh, s some other things. So to uh, legitimate the, the shop. I'm going to write something about beer, like, uh, it, it'll be a common stuff, I'll make some recessions, and, uh, it, it, it'll be like that. But uh, half a year after opening our shop, uh, it gave me a lot of pleasure of writing about beer, recording about beer. Uh, so yeah, I became a, a half-time uh, beer blogger. Blogger. It, it, it really uh, gives me a lot of fun, uh, a lot of pleasure uh, me meeting all, all you guys here uh, and tasting the great beer. <laughs> How long do you have the beer shop? Well, uh, I don't have it at the moment. Because we closed it uh, uh, two years ago, uh, but we, we were having it for four years. And tell me a bit, because I know you from YouTube, uh, your setup of a video and so, how, how did that evolve? Was it first like before the webcam and then gradually you buy more gear? And... Uh, it, it, it was like a, uh, the, the, the first uh, thing things uh, I've done uh, was writing about it. I took some photos, uh, I was uh, writing about beer and then I thought myself yeah I can make some videos about it but let's do it in a different way not only tasting beer but maybe let's talk with other people who also love beer or maybe not uh, and I thought that, yeah let's do it let, let, let's do it uh, in the interview uh, style so I interviewed some uh, stars uh, in, in, in Polish in Poland uh, and then it evolved to recording videos about beer. Uh, um, yeah, and the videos, like you always do it in the Polish language. Yeah, I yeah. do it in the Polish language. Uh, with a couple of exceptions, because uh, when I made a, uh, a transmission from Warsaw Beer Festival, like it was in 2019, uh, I made it in English. Um, and you do YouTube but also Facebook or is it, is it like your, your first goal? I do all what I can. So I, I post on YouTube, mm -hmm. I post on Facebook and I post on Instagram. I totally don't know how to touch TikTok and all the, the, the new stuff. We're too old for that. Yeah, we're too old. We, we like a, a bit of a boomer in this style of bloggers. Uh, but uh, yeah, Facebook, the Instagram, and uh, YouTube. Uh, I, I try to uh, develop uh, materials for all those three platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, tell me, besides beer, you also play in a band, I assume? Uh, I, yes, I'm a, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guitar player. Uh, for most of my time uh, with my music, musical career, uh, I played at the... Um, was the author of, of music for JD Overdrive, mm -hmm. this Polish band uh, with a stoner twist, uh, 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 like uh, play, play, play the American uh, type of metal. But we recently recorded our final and last album, and now new things are coming. So, yeah. Even like new records with the band, but also. Not, 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 not with JD Overdrive, because. Uh, but uh, I'm going to make new music with new people, so uh, I hope this year something new will come up. And you also tour with the band? Uh, uh, we did, we did. Uh, not at the moment, because uh, we, we've closed the, 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 that, that chapter with JD Overdrive. 
But yeah, we toured with, uh, with JD Overdrive uh, around Poland. We uh, did also a couple of shows in Germany, Czech Republic. Uh, we went to Belarus uh, three or four, four years ago. So we do it. And um, yeah, the festival here, are there any things you noticed? Uh, new trends in the Polish beer market? I think. Uh, the breweries uh, focus most on IPAs because it sells the best. But you also uh, you grab some uh, classical beer style like pills, like Zone, like uh, some Belgian type of beer, like quadruple. There is the, in China brewery, they have a great quadruple uh, aged in, uh, in barrels. Uh, so, so, so the, this classical approach to beer is like a new, new thing in, in, in Polish brew mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. And where do you see the, the Polish crops in now? It's like it's more mature than it was, of course, a couple of years ago. Right? Definitely. De de definitely. Uh, I think that uh, here in Poland we, we, we de developed uh, such technique in brewing beers. I think we are like in top four, maybe or five countries, uh, like the United States, uh, Belgium. The Finnish beer are also great. With the most breweries, you mean? Not, not the most breweries, but the, the level of the brewery, the brewing. The level of brewing. We've developed a really great technique. Uh, not all the breweries, but like Pinta Brewery, Nepomucen. Uh, Marienstadt, uh, we, we have those young guys out there, punk busters, uh, they also brew uh, great beer. So, uh, the level of Polish beer is, I think, really decent. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to still learn something uh, new uh, and uh, we have to uh, develop higher level of, of brewing, but it's really nice uh, at the moment. It's, uh, really decent. Do you think the, the Polish beer is exported enough? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think uh, uh, the Polish beer is uh, not as high as, uh, as it should be. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Polish breweries are not focusing enough on exporting beer. The Pinta is doing it, okay. I think Nepomucan is. Uh, Stu maybe, how to clue it, but it's still not enough. I think uh, the, the, the international um, focus should, should, should be more gathered on Polish beer. And, and how is, is that because of the Polish brand? Is it not marketed enough? Or people think, think oh, Poland is a vodka lamp, they don't associate Poland with beer yet? I think so. Uh, I think the, 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 the guys. Uh, in other countries, do not associate Poland with uh, with the great beer. Uh, they don't focus on us uh, as a country that a great beer comes from. Everybody knows that. Okay, you have the greatest vodka, and the world is from Poland. Okay, like the whiskey is from Scotland. But in Poland, we know we have a great beer, but other countries, they do not. Yeah, so festivals like this really help to uh, promote the Polish uh, market. Yeah, I think so because uh, the Warsaw beer, the Warsaw beer festival, is like the greatest festival in Poland for me. Uh, you can meet uh, people from many countries here, and also in the Warsaw uh, beer festival, that's the same in Poznan uh, also. So it helps, it helps a lot. And the other festivals, they also focus on Polish brewers or it's more international? I think all the festivals are focusing on Polish brewers. You can meet some foreign uh, brewers, uh, like on the World Cup Festival. Yeah, five uh, or so or four. Exactly, you have uh, some uh, Belgian uh, brewers, like Rosmale, La Trappe, uh, uh, Rodenbach, are, are here. So, so you can taste the beer from Belgium. Uh, also, on this edition of Warsaw Beer, Beer Festival, you have a place called Ham. It's a place from Wrocław, and they sell 
really great Franconian uh, beer from Germany. Uh, really classic style, uh, classic German beers. It's, and it's awesome. So the people from Poland can taste also the beer from, from other countries. Um, yeah, Belgium is a bit different. Like the, the most festivals we have are have more like international brewers, half international, half Belgian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, like I, 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 about the Belgian beer, I love the different approach. Because in Belgium, the approach to beer, I was uh, interviewing the guys from La Trappe and uh, Westman and Rottenbach yesterday. Uh, and you can see that there is the focus on yeasts, on the malty side of the beer. I love it, mm -hmm. that's great. And uh, in Poland, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a disgrace, but uh, we say that the Belgian beer is Poland. I do not agree with that. <laughs> Absolutely not, because we're very traditional. It's a different uh, approach to, uh, to taste, to, mm -hmm. to smell the beer, but it's really great. And it's really uh, interesting. The maltiness uh, and the, the, the things, the, the yeast de develop uh, in beer, is great. It's really awesome, and I'm, uh, I have this uh, line in my, in my beer blog that I want to make. Belgian beer great again. So I'm, uh, I'm showing the like the quadruple style, the triple style uh, of beer and say, this is awesome. I know that the IPAs are selling the best. Okay. In Poland we say that the IPAs are the new lagers. <laughs> and I say, no, focus also on Belgian beer. That's great. Awesome. Um, and what are your plans for the future with your channels and your media? You're gonna keep, of course, vlogging, uh, writing also? Uh, that's a difficult question. That's a difficult question because uh, I want to make uh, materials that, that are really interesting for the guys who watch it. Not only tasting beer. The tasting beer materials, uh, they, they, they're not interesting. Everybody can smell a beer, can taste a beer, and can say everything about the beer. Yeah. But and I we twist it again, and oh, the coconut flavor yeah, comes. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Come on, it, 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 it's a bit boring. But the, the thing that interests me most is like talking with people, yeah. like we talk yeah. today. Yeah. today. The people in craft uh, beer market are really awesome. They have uh, great stories to tell, yeah. great histories to tell. And this is what I'm going to focus on. Well, that's, that's, indeed, that's scalable and it's yeah, yeah. Exactly. the people behind the beer, right? That's always way more interesting than, than the beer, beer itself because uh, oh, the beer the beer is interesting. Like but the people behind it are far more interesting uh, than the beer. Right. <laughs> that's it. Thanks a lot. Uh, quick shout out, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Mielo. How do I spell it in English? Milo Brody. It's a really difficult. C H M I L O B R O D Y. Yeah. And it means Hoppy Beer. And it means hoppy beer. Yeah, it means yeah. hoppy beer. Yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> the story behind it. I, I created this 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 guy like uh, the pirate or the hoppy beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's Milo Brody. It's a hoppy hoppy beer that uh, pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Cheers to you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers to Be Idiots. <laughs>